Hey friends, welcome back to a new Power BI tutorial. Today I'd like to share with you a solution for this kind of data set. So as you can see, we got double headers in here. So US for instance, and here Asia, and then we can see different kinds of years, and we can see a product in here. And our goal is to get this structure into a flat structure, so a flat table, which you can then use in Power BI. So how to do this? Well, at first, of course, we need to open Power BI, I already do th did this here, and I also connected to the file already. And here you can also see the example. This is just the file you've seen, uh, which I've shown you in the Excel file as well. It's exactly the same. Now, in order to prepare this, we need the Power Query editor for that. So let's select the file first, and then let's go to transform data, because the current structure is not really helpful. So let's click on transform here. So here we go, there's the Power Query Editor, and now we can actually take a closer look. So what we have is, we have here the product, and then we can see here the various products, okay, and we can see here the continents, so US in this case, or in this case, state, and here it could be North America here as well, and here's Asia, and uh, so far so good, okay, but you can clearly see that this data is not formatted properly. So what can we do? Well, the first thing is we do not want to lose US here and Asia here. So in my case, there are only two columns here which are named, but of course could be several of them. So what we do is we first go to the option under transform and we make sure that the we actually demote the headers, meaning we use the headers as first row. So if we tick this option, let me click here, you see that now the US and Asia here, which was original in the header, is now in the first row. So that's the first part. Next, of course, make sure that if you want to do this, rename the applied steps properly. So next, we can actually now use the transpose option. So I can select my first column and say I'd like to transpose it. So click transpose. And now you see the product as well as the product names here are now in the first row. And here US, Asia are now here in the first column. So far so good. Next, I want to fill here basically the column three and four with US and column six and seven with Asia. So I want to do actually a fill down. Now we know that there is a fill option which we can easily check and click on fill down. However, this only works if the column itself is empty, meaning we see a null in here, which is clearly not the case because in my case, I get column one, column three, four, and column six and seven. So I need to replace the columns in this case, column three with null. How do I do this? Well, there is a replace values option, but the issue here in Power Query is that Power Query, for whatever reason, I still do not, can't make any sense of it, but it do, does not support uh, wildcard characters. So what we could do instead is the following. I can select the column and I can go to split column. And with split column, there's an option to split from non-digit to digit. And this is quite handy here because I can select this option and now we actually removed the one, three, four, and so all, so all the numbers from the columns. Now this, of course, we can delete, Let's click on remove, and this one now can be replaced. So I can say replace values now, and now I can easily replace on search for column because there is no column one, two, three, and so on, there's only column, and I can replace it here with null. So if I click OK, you see that now I replaced all the columns with null, and this means I can now fill this down. So I can select my column, currently it's still selected, I can go to fill, and I can say fill down. And now you can see I got filled this with US and those values here with Asia. So far so good. Now next, I like to actually promote my products here as headers before I unpivot my data. This will be then the last step, probably, beside renaming. So what I do is I go first row as headers. This time I'm using the, the normal the default one. So remember, the first we used headers as first row, but now in this case we want to promote the headers, meaning we use the first row as headers. So let's take this option here, and now we can see we got our products, peanut butter cup, cookie dough, half-baked, and Netflix and chill and cherry Garcia. So obviously names you have never heard and never eaten so far, I guess. So these are now our headers. And now we can easily select the first two columns like that. 
and then we can go to unpivot columns and just make sure that you go to the little down arrow here and say unpivot other columns. If you want to choose unpivot columns, you need to select all the columns with the product names. Okay, just make sure that you choose the right one. Then go to unpivot other columns. And now you've got a flat table with, as you can see here, column one contains here the, in this case, countries or continents, depending on what it is. We can see here the, the dates, actually. We can see an attribute here and the value. And now what I want to do here is I want to simply rename this properly. So this, these are my, let's say these are the continents. Or let's say, let's say regions, okay? Let's say these are our sales regions because US itself is not a whole continent. And uh, this is actually the year. So let's go with year here. This is the attribute. So let's say this is our product. and value, I leave value as it is in here. Okay, so we got this one also done. And now our last, uh, the last thing to do is actually go to home, click on close and apply. And then we load our transformation into Power BI, and then we can get started doing our visualizations. So 30 rows row, load it. We got our table here, which of course you can still rename here as well. Right click here and go to a rename if you want to do that properly, and then you can work with these data and create visualizations. And that's it. So hopefully that was helpful. If so, please consider subscribing and also click on the bell icon to get notified whenever I publish a video. Thanks a lot, take care, and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.